You guys have uh, generally come out hungry even after wins. What, what's their reaction been this week to, to their first loss? Oh, I, I think it was really good. I mean, I think we uh, we handled it. They handled it professionally. Like, man, I mean, you can't you can't come hang your head, but you also you're going to have that as a competitor that you know that feeling of wanting to get that taste out of your mouth. And uh, they've we you know I think we've back stacked uh, two solid practices. Not perfect by any stretch, but two solid practices in terms of where we are Monday and Tuesday. And uh, just excited to go into Wednesday. How is Ross uh, bounce back? He seems to be a bounce back guy. We've heard it from from Noel, but from your perspective, how is Ross? Bounce back? Oh, he's he's fine. I mean, Ross is fine. Ross is resilient. You've seen him. He's been resilient all year. He's been resilient when he's gotten hit in the face, or you know when something hasn't gone right for him at UNC with a you know pick coming back later and you know leading us on a couple drives. So I, I don't I'm not worried one bit about that. I've already seen it out of practice, so I know he's gonna he's gonna come out swinging. What did you see out of uh, the very limited reps, granted? Uh, from from Zion and Derek Clark. Yeah, it's just limited, but they showed some things. You know, it was very limited. You know, they each just you know got a couple carries each. Zion with a couple more in on a couple other uh, reps. You know, in the past game, but I'm excited to just keep progressing with them as well. Just because through the course of a year, that's a that's a challenging position, depending on how many snaps you're taking. And obviously, Pat's taking a lot of snaps um, at this point, and Vic's still a solid number, depending on which game you look at. But we are going to need. You know, we are going to need three to four to sometimes even five backs through the course of a season. So um, I'm excited to see their jump from their first true action to, to this week. What did you see out of uh, Adam Elke so long? You said you, you kind of gestured at maybe wanting to see more a few weeks back. What, what, what got him into the lineup? Yeah, he was just, you know, he's something where he did some solid things in practice and was doing, you know, he's he has the ability, you know, to make plays. It's just a matter of just getting into the flow of what we're doing offensively. And, uh, but he was able to, again, kind of like you talk about Zion or, or talk about DC, you know, you're able to see a little bit and, you know, and hopefully we just keep progressing from, from where it was in that, in that ball game. How do you feel about the offensive line against SC? It looks sometimes Ross is under a little pressure. Yeah, at times he was, but sometimes I think that gets, you know, yeah, there might have been times where they, you know, beat us, but shoot, they're, you know, they're a good football team. They're going to have guys. You know, we beat them, too, with our defensive line at times. So you're going to have that. But I thought overall they competed well. You know, they competed well. We were able, our two starting, our two top tailbacks, you know, our two guys with most reps average about five and a half a carry. And, you know, and, and even a couple of times when there was a little pressure, sometimes that's, you can't always look and say, oh, that had, you know, the natural thing is to say that's the old line. But there, I can think of one where, you know, a tailback missed on a block. I can think of another one where, you know, Ross will be the first to tell you he slid kind of into it. And it wasn't, you know, and another one where he darn near ran into it. So you can't look at sometimes sheer numbers or how many sacks were given up and assume, you know, because I think they did a, they did a really, you know, solid job in terms of competing all day. What, what were you aiming at getting from going into the eye formation, which is something I don't think we've seen here in, in, in many, many moves? A first uh, down. <laughs> and, 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 and That's all. We were one for two, I guess. Did you, did you like what you saw out of that formation? Yeah, I mean, it was two plays, and, you know, we were looking to get a first down, and we got the first one and couldn't quite get in the end zone with the next one, but Vic got in on the next play. So just to Again, you, you know, you have you know little wrinkles. It's it's within our package. Doesn't mean we'll run it every week or it's always in. No, but it was uh, it paid dividends. You know, in early on, right in that first third and one or two or whatever it was when when uh, you know Malik was able to get four out of it. Keep the drive going. Got an easy one for you this week, uh, Coach Greatwood. All those guys up front rave about him. What's he meant to, to your offensive staff? Oh, he's been huge. I mean, Coach Greatwood, and I, I've known this years before I ever got here. You know, just with you know the, just the way his O lines have played throughout the years, not just at Oregon but throughout. But you know, mainly I know it from his you know Oregon and competing against them, and also just watching as a fan. So it's what you see more than anything is his lines play together. They play in in rhythm. You know, and that's what you always look for in a, in, in a great O-line. You know, no matter what their talent level, no matter what, are they stepping the same? Are they playing together? Are they understand things together? And that's a sign of, you know, being well coached. And you see that with our O-line, you know, so it's a, it's exciting to, to be working with, you know, Coach Craig. What have you seen out of, uh, out of Oregon's defense so far? Looks like they get to the quarterback. And what have you seen out of them and how do they do that? Uh, they have a lot of speed. I think they play extremely hard. You know, I, I think they do, and they, and they have talent, so don't take that away from that. I mean, obviously they have talent, they have a lot of athletes at each level. They're young in some spots, but in my opinion, those young players are playing at a pretty high level. They've got a couple young nose guards that are playing at a high level, a corner playing at a high level. You know, so they got some young guys in certain spots, but uh, they move well and they play with, they play with, you know, they all play with great motors. 
you know, so it's going to be a challenge for us, you know, from a standpoint, you know, they aren't going to, they aren't going to take any plays off, and they do. They, they provide enough, enough stuff to keep you off balance with what they do. That you just got to be on point with what your rules are, and uh, you got to be on point with knowing that you got to, you know, come to, come, come knowing they're going to come at you. You got to be ready to compete. Last couple of times I've, I've been up there, it's been really loud. What do you guys do as an offense to, to try to work on your communication and, and get an atmosphere like that? Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing everyone does. I mean, you have your certain cadences that you feel like work in those places. I mean, we, you know, dealt with it. Maybe, you know, obviously I know it'll be a little louder probably than UNC, but we had certain noise, you know, and we dealt with certain noise when we were, you know, on the road in game week one. And we've all, as coaches, we've all dealt with it. Most of these players that have played, they've all dealt with it. So I don't think that's, that's not a factor at all. What do you want to see the most out of your guys in terms of finishing drives this week? Yeah, just you know, just just what you said. We got to be able to finish those drives. We got to be able to put the, you know, that's what we're lacking at times. I mean, we've probably gone on more double-digit drives than I'm used to, you know, because a lot of times I've gone on quicker, shorter drives in my career as a, you know, as a coach. But so that's a positive to our ability to sustain 12, even what was that 15 to start the <laughs> second half, you know, but. At the end of the day, we got to again make that make that 16th, that 17th play, whatever number that is. So and that's what we're you know we're just lacking a little bit. But at the same token, we're not far off, you know. So you're never it's never as good even when we're winning ball games against you know North Carolina or you know Ole Miss. It's, it's never as good as you think, you know. We got still a lot of work, and it's never as bad as you know. Man, that fourth quarter. Well, there's there's about three or four plays that really you got to look at, you got to study, and it unravel on us. But I still feel great about the body of work. And just we just got to find a way, like you said, to sustain and to truly finish a few more of those earlier, so we have a chance to have a lead going into the fourth quarter rather than being tied. To that point, I think you guys are are, are 50% in terms of getting touchdowns when you're in the red zone. What what do you think's holding you guys back from 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 you know pushing it through in the in the red zone? Yeah, there's a number of things. I mean, it's just you know certain missed opportunities, certain times in which. You know, it's been, you know, 10, I don't really use the term 10 man football. I mean, you got 11 guys competing, but maybe one guy's a little off or one guy just missing, mm -hmm. you know, or whatever it might be. And that's kind of what's happening on a lot of those. So we do, we have to improve that. We have to, you know, we have to own that. That's the best way to say it. We have to own that and understand that. And, and we got to attack it going into this week. What uh, what were you guys uh, looking at when you said to move Trevor Howard to, to tight end? Obviously he seems like, you know, he's, Developing there, but we'll just kind of what, what did you see to say? Let's let's move him there. Well, it just felt like he could give us something potentially, you know. And how soon that is, I don't know. You know, it takes a little bit to, you know, that position is a challenging position too, just with everything that you're asked of. So, um, just but looking to again, you know, trying to give us something, give us a little meat there, a little beef there. You know, especially obviously losing Ray early early in the season. You know, we were just lacking certain experience there. So we'll just kind of see how it goes as we go forward. But he definitely has a skill set that that has a chance. You know, I just haven't had much to evaluate yet. But well, moved him what three weeks ago? About? Yeah, he just hasn't had a lot of team reps. He hasn't had a lot of true reps yet. He's still you know coming back from from his from knee. Yeah. yeah. You guys all good? All right. Thank Thanks, guys.